Hello, welcome back to Shit Rentals with your host, Purple Pingers. Today we're in Seaford, Victoria for 360 bucks a week and it's a two bedroom unit, so it sounds like a great deal. The real estate agent describes it as beachside living, which to be fair, it absolutely is, and they provide some really nice little photos of the place. For example, here's the like living area and the kitchen and another nicely angled picky of that kitchen. Another angle of the living room, bathroom, like looks a bit worse for wear but honestly kind of fine in these photos. And then just this photo which obviously is not of the house but um, it is what it is. Anyways this property was uh, inspected by someone and submitted to shitrentals.org uh, and they provided an actual review of the house and some actual photos um, just to show you what they're hiding. Anyways, my favourite part of their review is just their way with words. I'll read from it now. Come see history painted on the carpets. Stains abound. Many people critiqued Da Vinci too. The kitchen is inviting and practical. The hole next to the stove has been thoughtfully fixed with a garbage bag. Anyways, here's some photos of the actual property on shitrentals.org. Um, so as you can see, this is uh, the outside I don't particularly know what this is, but it looks like it should be hanging in the NGV. This is a picture of inside the shower where uh, obviously the window broke and instead of fixing it, they were just like, we'll just, we'll just slap one of these bits of plywood on, which should be good and just ignore the mold. Carpets are pretty scrumptious, but I've seen worse. No uh, handles on the door, um, but honestly, this is, this is fine. It gets better now. As you can see from this photo, it looks like the landlord doesn't know that you need multiple trades to build a house. So it looks like he got a carpenter from Airtasker and then kind of filled in the rest from memory by himself. Beautiful car though. As you can see, this fly screen is a bit of an afterthought. The toilet, however, a different story. If I knew how to do this in like primary school, my exercise books would be the talk of the town. Fucking look at that. Gwiz. Here we have the oven. As you can see, there's a bit of a hole uh, up the top right. I'm not sure whether that was caused by uh, fire or something, um, but as you can see, the landlord has repaired it with a garbage bag and then just said she'll be right. As you can see, whoever tiled that splashback looks like they either used blue tack or just came home from being caught on an episode of RBT and decided now was the right time to tile a splashback. I'm uh, not a glazier, but I feel like uh, duct tape is not how uh, you fix glass. Also, again, not a glazier, but I feel like you can't just fix a window uh, with cling wrap and just staple that shit there and, and call it a day. I feel like feel like you need there's a couple extra steps speaking of it feels like the outside of this house is just hanging on by a thread it does come with a basketball hoop though so a win is absolutely a win however when parts of your house start peeling away from i guess the other parts of your house a win is is no longer a win this place is listed by o'brien real estate seaford and i feel like using pictures like this to sell something it actually looks like this is incredibly unethical and probably illegal because it's very misleading. Also, O'Brien Real Estate Seaford would have wasted so many fucking people's time um, by just listing this ad and the pictures that they used. Um, so I'm really glad someone reviewed this property on shitrentals.org uh, because firstly i hope it saves a lot of people a bunch of time because you don't have to look at this house this is what it actually looks like um but also yeah i hope generally the site helps people so um please submit reviews of your rentals or rentals that you've inspected to shitrentals.org um so you can help people and so that they don't have to go visit shitholes like this so if you work at o'brien real estate seaford fuck you Thanks for watching all of my silly little videos. Um, if you want to support me, please feel free to join the Patreon or grab some merch in my link tree. Um, but also don't do that if you can't afford. I love you all very much. I'm going to be playing some music soon.